Hello friends. A warm welcome once again to our YouTube channel, Neat Exam Update with Guruji, English. If you're watching our video for the first time or are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe so that every important Neat update and major news reaches you first. Now let's begin today's special video without any delay. In the grand scheme of Neat UG counseling, many students often overlook the real power that the 85% state quota brings to the table. But in truth, this quota is a hidden treasure for thousands of students, especially those coming from smaller towns and villages. Under this system, states reserve a majority chunk of their MBBS and BDS seats for students who are domicile holders, meaning they belong to that specific state either by birth or long-term education. Let's say your NEAT score is around 430, 480. At first glance, you may think government colleges are out of your reach, but if you are from states like Chhattisgarh, Bihar, Rajasthan, West Bengal, Odisha, or even Tamil Nadu, the state quota can open doors for you. Why? Because the cutoff under state quota is often 30-60 marks lower compared to All India Quota, AIQ. In practical terms, while a 580-plus scorer might be required under AIQ, in many states even a 440-plus can fetch you an MBBS seat in a government college under state quota. This quota becomes even more powerful for SCST, OBC, EWS students, where the bar can go, down to 380 or even 330 in some northeastern or less competitive states. For example, in Chhattisgarh, a SC student scoring 350 plus can get into Government Medical College, Rajnangaon, or Ambikapur. In Odisha, a 410 plus might land you in SLN Medical College, Koraput under SC quota. For EWS or OBC in Rajasthan, 490-plus could secure Sikar or Dungarpur Medical College. This is the true power of state quota. It's not just a number. It's a second chance for students who thought it was all over. Point 2. Reserved for the Roots Government School Student Quota and its Deep Impact Another massive game-changer in recent years, especially for rural and underprivileged children, is the rise of reservations for students from government schools. States like Tamil Nadu, Delhi, and even Maharashtra have introduced powerful sub-quotas that are entirely reserved for students who studied in government-run or aided schools from grades 6 to 12. Take Tamil Nadu's 7.5% reservation. It is exclusively meant for government school students. This reservation works within the state quota and significantly drops the cutoff for these students. While others may need 550-plus to get into a top-tier TN medical college, a government school SC student with 380-420 marks might get admission in Thini Medical College or Pudukatai. Similarly, Delhi's government school quota gives preference to class 11-12 passouts of Delhi Gov schools. In states like Haryana or Karnataka, rural ward quotas are increasing, allowing more economically disadvantaged or first-generation learners to step into MBBS dreams. This policy directly uplifts students who never had coaching, private tuitions, or elite schools. Imagine a village girl who walked three kilometers daily to attend a Zila Parishad school, and now, with 390 marks, she secures a seat in Madurai Medical College under government school quota. These are not just policies. They are justice for the underserved. Point 3. Latest updates from Rajasthan. SC OBC students can celebrate low cutoffs. Rajasthan has recently released its provisional merit list, and counseling is actively ongoing. But the most heartwarming news is the sharp drop in cutoff marks for reserved categories, especially SC, ST, OBC, and EWS. For example, in 2024, the last round cutoff for SC category in state quota went down to just 402 marks for colleges like Dungarpur and Poly Medical College. This year, due to seed increase and low difficulty, it's expected that 390, 395 marks may be enough. For OBC and EWS, the cutoffs were around 515, 525, and now early trends suggest it may go down to 505. What's more interesting is that MBBS seats in Rajasthan have increased by nearly 500 this year, adding new hopes for aspirants who were just below the expected line. Counseling is being held online at rajugmedical2025.com, and the state has ensured that every student gets a fair chance. For rural students, this is the time to double check your documents and participate actively. You may not need to repeat another year if your marks are even close to 400. Point 4. Big news from Madhya Pradesh. Safe MBBS seats for even 420-430. Marks. Madhya Pradesh has emerged as one of the most student-friendly states in NEET UG counseling. 
With the help of the DME portal and the MP online system, everything is centralized and counseling is already underway. But here's the catch. This year, students from SC and ST categories with marks like 360-390 have great chances to get MBBS in colleges like Shadal, Vidisha, and Kandwa. Even general category rural girls scoring 440 plus are expected to get admission in Datia or Ratlam. Government medical colleges under the female quota and state quota combined. In EWS star OBC, seats are predicted to be available till 470, 480 range, especially in newer medical colleges. MP has also increased bond-based rural service MBBS seats that have low fees and mandatory village posting for five years, ideal for students who are looking for affordable MBBS. These are full MBBS degrees with government recognition and a great option if your budget is limited. So if you're a village student scoring 420+, plus, you should seriously consider the state quota and bond service options in MP. The path to becoming a doctor is closer than you think. Point 5. West Bengal a golden state for low cutoff and maximum MBBS value. West Bengal remains one of the most generous and low cutoff states for SC, ST, and OBC students. The counseling process through wbmcc.nike.in has already released the seat matrix, and a massive number of seats are expected to be filled under state quota with low cutoffs. In the previous year, students from SC category secured MBBS with even 370, 390 marks in colleges like Cooch Bihar, Diamond Harbor, and Ramperhat. OBC students, with 470-480, could get into Malda and Raygunge Medical Colleges. This year, due to additional MBBS seat expansion and fewer high scores in WB, the competition is slightly relaxed, especially in rural districts. Also, the government bond policy in WB is lenient, and hostel fees remain one of the lowest in the country. Students from poor families or first-time learners should aggressively participate in WB counseling and not fear the cutoffs. If you're from a backward district and have 400-plus marks, you still have a real shot at becoming a doctor in West Bengal. Point 6. The emotional power of government MBBS seats. More than just a seat. Lastly, remember, a government MBBS seat is not just a number on a counseling list. It is a life-changing opportunity. For a student whose father is a farmer or mother is a tailor, this one seat can change the fortune of not just a family, but an entire generation. Government seats come with subsidized fees, ours $10,000, ours $50,000 a year, quality hostel facilities, bonded job security, and the pride of studying in an institution that trained thousands of India's top doctors. Also, most government medical colleges offer monthly Stipends, RAI 5,000, 12,000, starting from internship, a crucial help for financially weak students. Hostel and mess subsidies make sure no one drops out due to hunger or rent. So if you're feeling low with a 420 or even 370 score, don't give up. Look at your state quota, your category reservation, female residential domicile quota, government school quota, and you'll find your window of hope. Because for someone who fought odds without coaching, Without cities and without money, even one seat is a revolution. Thank you so much for watching till the end. We bring the most reliable neat updates fast and first. Don't forget to like, share, and comment your feedback below. See you in the next update. Take care.